Today we have put together a special forum to tackle a really important issue affecting our kids. We're looking at how pervasive pornography has become and how it's over-sexualising children. This morning we've brought in a panel of experts and young people to find out just how big the problem is and what we can do about it. In the 21st century, it's everywhere. Sexual images confront us all. But for our children, it's gone from risque billboards or a sneaky look at a dirty magazine to explicit sexual images and videos on the net, warping their idea of what it means to be a child. A staggering 60% of girls and over 90% of boys have viewed online pornography. What they're seeing is graphic, demeaning, sadistic and brutal, especially towards women. And it doesn't seem right. Then there's sexting between teens, with 69% of young people receiving a nude or nearly nude image. And the celebrities our kids look up to willingly share sexualised and naked pictures of themselves, claiming they're aspirational. Today, this highly sexualised environment is robbing our children of their innocence, forcing them to develop toxic relationships with sex, their bodies and each other. It is a brave new world for our kids these days. We have 21-year-old Martha Thomas and 20-year-old Sebastian Quinn. They are both with us and happy to share their experiences this morning. Welcome to the 10. You're kind of feeling the effects of all of this uh, over-sexualisation of kids. Have you ever been pressured into sexting or sending a naughty picture of yourself to someone? Um, maybe slightly. Um, the most prevalent, the most like sort of quantifiable um, thing to do with that is getting a, a picture from a guy. Um, that's a, a, it's a really common thing amongst girls um, to get a picture from a guy of his... Anatomy is yeah yeah really um, someone you just you're dating would would just send you a picture of yeah their... dating or not talking even. to not yeah dating. not not even necessarily but um, do you respond I mean because I find that extraordinary that that's almost like a hello boom <laughs> here's the picture yeah yeah except without the hello yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. most of the time I I. I personally don't respond. I'm and how, how, do the, how do the images of half-naked celebrities and models, I, I always think it's naked dressing myself, how does that put pressure on you in any way, or does it in any way? Well, I, I don't think it does, really. Um, and I, I feel really apprehensive about shaming celebrities who own their sexuality, because I think there's a, there's a culture of, yes, men objectify women, um, but as soon as women sort of take charge of that and own their sexuality, suddenly they're a slut. Mm. Sebastian, can we ask you straight out? Sure. Have you ever sent a, a picture of your... No. <laughs> to a girl? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I have. I think I wouldn't be comfortable sending one, to be honest. Not so much on a self-conscious level, but sending to the receiving party, I don't think it's the sort of thing they'd want to see. Mm. Uh, especially, I mean, if it was consensual, then even then I wouldn't exactly be comfortable with it, but... Do your mates do it? I would think so, which is kind of unfortunate. And do you talk about it with your mates, like someone... Most of the time it's jokingly, like, oh, yeah, you know, dick pic, this and that. That sort of thing happens all the time. Can I just ask a very quick question? Mm. Sorry, just not on this, this issue of <clears throat> sexting. Yes. Um, if you were sent a naked picture of your girlfriend, mm -hmm. would you share it with your friends? Because we're mm. hearing a lot about revenge porn. Right. And if you do send a private photo to your boyfriend or your girlfriend, then potentially passing it on. Oh, yeah, I couldn't pass on that sort of thing for fear that it's, it's eventually going to come back to me. I'm a big believer in karma. You know, if I do that to someone else, then that's going to happen to me. Especially once it goes online, then it's there forever. So, mm. Martha, is that something that scares you? Yeah, it terrifies me. But I think there's a difference between revenge porn and sharing it with your mates. You know, when you're sh if, you're, if you get a picture from a girl and then you share it with your mates immediately and you're still sort of seeing each other, it's kind of a, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to... I don't want to say tap that, but I just said it. So, so you're saying, how hot um, is my girlfriend? Yeah. And, and that's and considered that's okay? acceptable? No, no, I don't think it's OK. It's but acceptable. revenge porn is more like after you break up, um, and you submit it to a website or you send it to all your friends and you're like, she's the worst and, you know, she broke my heart yeah. and, and to get back at her, I'm, I'm leaking her nudes. But did you say it was OK to show his mates your naked picture? No, 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 no. No, no, no I definitely don't. But you're think saying that. They're, they're two different things. They're but, two different things, But yeah. really they're not because no, you're, trusting, same... you're trusting a photo of your naked body with 
the person you love, and if they're showing it, it's um, it is sort That's of it's a breach of trust. Yeah, yeah. and um, there is a level of healthy sexual behaviour and sexual intimacy, especially in the age of social media and and sharing everything. And it is something to to send a picture to a partner, whether you're like if you're long distance or if you haven't seen them in a long mm. time. Um, you know, there's and that you do put a lot of trust into that. And I, I don't think we should be shaming that. I, you know, it's about teaching people to respect those boundaries. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a number of young women that have come up to me after seminars and said their self-esteem is wrapped up mm. in whether or not a guy shares their picture. Really? Whether, oh, yes. So they it's something I've heard shared. very recently where young women have come to me and said, what is wrong with me because he doesn't talk about me or share my picture. And I think that is also where women are such victims of pornography, where their self-esteem and self-worth is wrapped up in their sexuality and their bodies alone rather than in their dreams and wishes and that would be is a that... minority of women though yes, because yes, there, are, there are women who, there are young girls who have taken their lives Absolutely. because a Absolutely. sexting yeah. photo Absolutely. has been shared around a but group what of I'm mates. saying but is, is that is that perhaps I mean is that so different or perhaps just the next step of a Kim Kardashian or a celebrity mm. posting a naked picture on Instagram to get as many likes as yes, they possibly because can they and think that being that valued is what, based on how many that, likes they get. They believe that is what gives them worth and it's devastating. You know, I, I really do feel very anxious about slut shaming people and saying, you know, you should cover up or, you know, if you, if you send a picture and then it's shared like it's your own fault because you sent the picture to mm. begin with. Melinda, what do you think? Our gr girls are growing up in a culture that rewards exhibitionism. Mm -hmm. This isn't about policing individual behaviour or telling girls to, to cover up. This is about a cultural critique. It's not about shaming individual behaviour. It's about putting the spotlight on a culture that from the moment they are born mm. or actually conceived, um, they're imbibing this message about what is valuable, what they need to do to be accepted, to be liked. Uh, to not be invisibilised in this culture. That's where our focus is on the entire cultural landscape, the pornified landscape, the fact that our, our young people are growing up in a shadow cast by pornography, which is impacting their abilities to have healthy, respect-based relationships. Our special forum on pornography and how it is over-sexualising our children will continue after this short break. <laughs>